the rhythm of a train, this, doesn't it? Laura Mavula, and you got me. Coming up on the show today, Paul Whitehouse. After 8.30, a new show he's done with Harry Enfield. Looking forward to seeing. And also Quiz Day after 8 on the way, the 7.33. Adam has your headlines now. On to BBC News at 7.30. Politicians in Northern Ireland are under pressure to restore the power-sharing executive before a midnight deadline passes. If they can't reach agreement, the UK government says it will call new elections. Hundreds of thousands of NHS staff in England, Wales and Northern Ireland are being asked by Unison to vote in favour of strike action. But a new pay offer in Scotland means the union has suspended its ballot of members there. Rishi Sunak is continuing to make changes to his ministerial team. The new Prime Minister has removed key allies of Liz Truss, rewarding his loyal supporters with top government jobs. Facebook's parent company Meta has reported a huge drop in profits. The news has caused its share price to plunge. The UK's human rights watchdog says policies which ban school children from having certain Afro hairstyles could be unlawful. It says it hopes new guidance will stop pupils being unfairly singled out for their appearance. And the weather forecast heavy rain spreading northeastwards, dry up with sunny spells for much of England and Wales later, but there'll be further rain in Scotland and Northern Ireland. BBC News, our next at eight. Thank you, Adam. Here's Mike with your sport. Morning, Mike. Morning, Zoe. Well, remember that film Sliding Doors with Gwyneth Paltrow years ago? It was all about how the course of history can sometimes be changed by the smallest of events. And in a way, that's how it was in the Champions League last night. So, in a parallel universe, this is what Tottenham fans think they should be hearing as the main sports story this morning. Thank you so much, Adam. It's Mike with your sport. Morning, Mike. Morning, Zoe. Well, what a dramatic late win for Spurs last night. Here's the cross. This will be the last attack of the game. Emerson Royal's in there. Kane is there! Harry Kane in the six-yard box to win it dramatically. What a finale! Yes, Spurs had won it at the death. Harry Kane's winner in the 96th minute meant they'd reached the Champions League last 16. But... That's the alternative universe. However, in that sliding doors moment, this is the reality for Tottenham this morning. Here's the cross. This will be the last attack of the game. Emerson Royal is in there. Kane is there! Harry Kane in the six-yard box to win it dramatically in the final minute of added time. What a finale! But in reality, fast-forwarding about five minutes here to what actually happened... Still we wait, still we're waiting to find out, and the referee oh! says the goal is ruled out. Ow! Conte is going berserk. So the score remains Tottenham 1, Sporting 1. Yeah, how quickly things can change. After a six-minute delay, our old friend VAR ruled that Harry Kane goal out, meaning Spurs drew one all with Sporting Lisbon at home. Manager Antonio Conte was furious. Still all to play for for them now as they head into the final match day in the Champions League. Elsewhere, things a lot more simpler for Liverpool. They were 3-0 winners away to Ajax. Rangers lost 3-0 uh, against Napoli. And a huge win for Chelsea in the Women's Champions League. They were 8-0 winners last Last night against the Albanian side Vlasnia. Oh, thank you very much, Mike. Dramatic stuff. It's time for the seven thirty three. So we have everybody's favourite TikTok train spotter, Francois. Uh, <laughs> Francis, no, I'm getting his bourgeois. Francis Bourgeois is on the show after nine this morning. Mike, you and I have been singing Rock and Rolling Ride. The Seekers. Yeah, I love that Morning song. Morning Town Ride. No one has chosen Morning Town Ride, have they? No, no. Uh, the first choice this morning comes from Paul from Bournemouth, who says for a train themed 7:33, it has to be this. Now you could could do the little Eva version, but I'd much prefer Kylie, as with Jesse Billington in Bedfordshire, Caroline in Northumberland, and Sam who's six, Sophie who's four, and Annie who's only two. The locomotion, the 